Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I want to talk about something that to me is kind of both a blessing and a curse. I think for me it's more of a curse than a blessing, especially given certain events that have gone on in my life, whether recent or not. Now, what I'm referring to is kind of the capability I have of being able to tell when something is something bad is about to happen or something good. Most of the time though, unfortunately, it's usually something bad. Now, to me, this is both a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing in the sense where being able to tell gives me the capability of trying to do what I can to prevent it. Unfortunately, that's where the curse part comes in. I can never tell how bad it is or what it correlates to. Now, before I continue, I do want to point out I'm not the only one with this kind of capability. Usually people who have enough knowledge on psychology or sociology can usually tell when this is kind of thing is going to happen. I think the reason I've been able to tell over the course, I think it's about, I've been able to do this for about eight years now. Um, I think the reason people can usually tell is because they can analyze and notice a pattern that would lead to what normally would be considered really bad or really good. Um, for example, say somebody is very close to passing a class and they're on the verge of giving up just because they're starting to get too stressed they think they're starting to feel like they're just not doing good enough but you've been sitting there analyzing it watching how well they're studying and watching how much they actually know and yet somehow some way they still feel like this is the case if this was a circumstance of me my first response would be no don't you can do it you can definitely do it. Look at all you've achieved into this point and look how well you know this. Normally it is logic like that that would lead me into this predicament. It's unfortunate because for the most part, it's usually not something good. Mm. Mm. Now that I think about it, that's not entirely true. Just the more notable ones, because they're more impactful, are the bad ones. And those ones are where it actually becomes a curse. Sure, I am able to tell something is going to happen. Unfortunately, that's it. I'm not able to tell what that something is. I'm not able to tell when or how it's going to happen. All I can tell is that something's going to happen. I can usually tell what it's going to correlate to, to a fault, or who it'll correlate to. But that's it. That's it. Normally, what's even more of a curse, usually when I can acknowledge this, because I know so little, I can't do anything to change it, and when I try, it backfires. And because of that, long one, it ends up impacting me in an extremely negative way. I can give several examples of this, but they may go too deep into personal life, and I don't want to do that. I guess I could give a, an example that doesn't correlate, but it kind of gives the idea of what I'm referring to. Hypothetically, it's unrealistic, hypothetical, this hasn't happened. Say, 
I had a relative who had just gotten out of rehab. Like I said, this is unrealistic. I don't have a, a single family member that I know of who does drugs or anything like that. Not that I can think of, at least. But say I hypothetically had a relative who did, and they just got out of rehab. And they actually did genuinely stop doing it. But I, start, I started getting this bad feeling surrounding them. Next thing you know it, their significant other leaves them. No trust at all. They did their actions to try to benefit to see how, to, to prove that they can be better. One of the reasons why the person did it in the first place. And yet, they were still, this, this wife or husband still left them. Would I be able to tell that it was that leave? No. I No way would I be able to tell that something was really bad was going to happen? Yes, but that's it. I wouldn't be able to say, hey, be prepared for blank. This blank thing is going to happen. I'd be able to reach out and say, hey, I'm getting this really bad feeling and I'm a little bit worried about you. Could you keep in touch just in case something happens? That I'd be able to do. But that's it. That is legitimately it. And I hate it. I love the fact that I'm able to tell when something is going to happen, whether good or bad. But I hate the fact that all I can do is, hey, keep in touch. That's not good enough for me. And it sucks. It sucks to have to go through. The, the reason it's so bad, something about me that needs to be known is that I'm extremely fragile. I'm an extremely fragile, and you don't hear this next statement about a guy too often, but I'm a very feminine man. A very emotional man. And it's very easy to break my emotions. To crack me. seeing like stuff like this happen when I can't do anything about it when I know I could have damages me to a degree that sometimes I just can't handle over the course of time because of this factor I've started to coop myself away past three relationships love type relationships I've been in it's not because I've gone out to communicate with other people and mingle. It's because I had been introduced to them in some way or another. And save one of them, all of them just, they ended worse than what they could have because of that one factor. I'd be able to tell something's gonna happen, but there was nothing I could do about it. Under one of the circumstances, I just subsided and went with the flow. That relation ended with me never talking to the person again. The other two? Well, I'm still in touch with one of them today, to this very day. Still very close, but if there's any plan for future connections like love life or anything like that, it's unknown. The other? Nothing. No malice as far as I know, but nothing. There are other examples I could give, but it kind of the reason for these particular examples I give is they're the ones that directly correlate with what I'm referring to. The idea that I can tell when something's wrong, but I have no idea what it is, and I don't know what to do about it. Whenever I didn't act, it would end poorly. 
whenever I did act, it would be the wrong action, and it would end poorly anyway. Again, save for the one, because the individual, going nameless, understood, and still, like me, felt like there was at least a connection, a f at least a close friendship type connection there. And I agree. But it doesn't change the fact. All caused because my brain responded in a way that bad or not wasn't the right response to knowing that something bad was there. This is where it becomes a curse for me. It impacts my personal life in a very, very negative way that eventually ends up also impacting my mindset in a negative way. And by the time that happens, I don't know what to do. Can I just ignore it? Apparently not, because it leads to this... Not the same bad outcome, but a similar enough one. Can I act on it? Apparently not, because it does the same... It, it, it still brings me to a bad outcome. Knowing this... This... Knowledge is a curse to me. It's a blessing in the sense that I can expect it myself, but it's a curse in the sense that I can't do anything about it, and I can't not do anything about it. And it softlocks me. It traps me in this endless loop of, you know this, we're screwing you over. Now, I don't actually think there's like what I just said, the whole, you know this, you're screwing it, I don't actually believe that. It's just the best way to describe it. I don't believe that the world finding out I know this, they're suddenly going to attack me. Or a higher being of sorts knows I know this, so it's going to strike me down. I don't think that. It's just an analogy. I want to make that very, very clear. Now, the reason I say a higher being is because depending on who you are, you may believe in a higher being, you may not. Um, that's why it's a hypothetical and not realism. Um, or, I don't know, maybe you do believe in a higher being. Maybe it's God or gods. I, I don't know. It depends on you. The, the point of what I'm trying to say, though, is that the fact that I know these things just seems to be bad. Because whenever I suddenly know these things, I get hurt. And granted, so does anybody connected. But that doesn't change the fact that I do as well. And by the time I do, it's more damaging than if I just never knew. And the curse aspect from what I just described probably makes it seem like it's more of a curse than a blessing. But to be honest to me, it is. It's a blessing in the sense that I know and I can expect something. But if I can't not say anything, and I can't say anything, if I can't do either or, then I'd wish, sometimes I just wish I never knew. At least then, it wouldn't be as impactful on me. And I know this about me thing has kind of turned into a vent, but... That is something about me. I know when... I usually can tell when something bad's gonna happen. Being able to know that is great. Being able to do nothing, but also not being able to do something simultaneously... Okay, being able to do nothing, being able to not do nothing simultaneously about it is the curse aspect of it. Let's see if I can think of some um, other positives, though, because I've given a lot more negative than positive about this. Hmm. 
knowing the details of this, I guess, in the future, if I were to say something, if I were to act on it, I'd at least know to expect negativity and I could prep myself for it. And maybe that aspect just happens because of how the world is a lot of the time. Very unaccepting of certain circumstances, especially if it hasn't happened yet. Even still. Not exactly sure what I'd do about it. And I've talked to people about circumstances like this before. A lot of the time in the aftermath, if I had were able to communicate with them, a lot of the response would be, Oh, so you knew we were trying to do this. My response would be, I guess, but at the moment, there's no way in hell I'd know that. Part of my language, but still, there is no way I would know that. Because my mental subconscious response would act in response to it to whatever extent. And it would be taken as something different because in the moment, I wouldn't know what's going on. But in the aftermath, you'd look back and go, Oh no, your actions seem like this, but they were really that. How would I know that? How would they know that? That's the problem with this kind of thing. And I know, once again, it sounds more like a vent, but it's a scenario to present why this is so bad. And I'm trying to come up with something good. Prepping someone. I don't know, if the world was more accepting, then it would have more good than bad. But the problem is, in human nature, it's impossible to just accept bad things. Unless enough evidence, more obvious upfront evidence is already piled up, that's impossible. It's not in human nature to do that. Which makes, once again, this about me aspect more of a curse than anything else. And I hate it. Once again, I love the fact that I'm able to tell but I hate the fact that I can't sit around and do nothing but at the same time for my own mental circumstances, but I can't do anything about it either because I literally physically wouldn't be able to. And it sucks. But before I go any further on loops about this, because I'm sure I already have, I'm going to leave this here. Have any of you ever been able to tell this kind of thing before telling something's going on. Let us know in the comments below. Or maybe you have some outer gifts that most people don't. Some kind of psychological or sociological gift. I don't know. If you like this kind of stuff that's about me kind of stuff or these discussion and rants, this is kind of a combination of both, so it's probably going to go in both playlists. Um... I don't know. Let us know. Uh, it, it may, may, maybe you might, if you do enjoy this kind of stuff, give the video a like and consider subbing to the channel. I'm going to follow this under the About Me category since it was supposed to more be an About Me thing. Um, so if you want to check out the rest of, if you want to learn more about me as an individual, the creator, not the character that I'm developing, but the creator it's himself, the real life me, why not click link on this side of my head? Um, there are over a hundred videos talking about me. I believe some of them have and will eventually talk about other individuals who are connected to me. Um, given the point in time, it could be someone different. But if you want to learn more about those who have boarded, um, the crew at some point, or maybe more about me myself, I don't know. Yeah. Check that playlist out. You may enjoy it. You may learn something about uh, me as a creator or those I'm connected to. Or if this isn't quite your cup of tea, why not click link on the other side? Maybe you'll find something you may enjoy a bit more. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video, and we hope to see all of you in another one. Catch you guys later.